BrewTube, DJ's here, back at you with yet another DJ's BrewTube Mix Drink How To. Yeah, guys, you see what's up. The bar supplies are out, so you know it's time to mix some beer cocktails. But where's the liquor? Usually when DJ's making a beer cocktail, there's some liquor involved. So, you know that means this is going to be sort of a snake bite -ish sort of cocktail. Snake bites, if you've had them before, are generally either a cider combined with a lager beer or maybe like a Guinness, or maybe an IPA, you know, combined with a lager beer or cider. But today, we got something special. This recipe for the cocktail that I'm going to call the Total Ruination Cocktail or Total Ruination IPA Cocktail is coming to me from one of my good buddies and one of my beer tube reviewing buddies, Kevin at Clemens Homebrew. Now, he was at a beer, I guess, festival or beer conference and met Greg Cook from Stone. I should be so lucky. And while he was talking to Greg, he said, hey, Kevin, you know, one thing that would be really awesome and taste really great that I've had is when you mix the dregs of what's left over in a bottle of Stone Ruination and Stone Ruin 10. You combine them in approximately a 50-50 amount, put them in your glass, drink it, and it's going to be a fucking awesome IPA experience. Well, I heard that shit, and I said, you know what? I'm the beer cocktail guy. I got to make that. I got to come up with a name. So I'm going to come up with the Total Ruination Cocktail. That's right. We're getting down with our IPAs today. So, we've got our two bottles left over. You may have seen my side-by-side -side review of Stone Ruination and Stone Ruin 10. You know I gave them an A and an A plus respectively. So, I'm gonna put them in the shaker. We don't have to, but it's cool. And it's a bar tool, and we like tools, even when we're beer geeks. So, pop the top, then listen. You hear that's a hiss? Even though these bottles have already been opened, when you use the pry top popper and you put the caps back on, it preserves them. So, first we're gonna pour gingerly so we don't get a whole lot of head. Our ruination, about half a shaker of that, and <laughs> our ruin 10, our big hoppy buddy here. Boom, put it like that. Now, the reason I'm using a shaker is because I've combined them. Now, when I put them into the glass, they'll integrate more thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Part of bar tending is integration. We're going to have a lot of head on this, so we'll have to let it settle down, but that's all right. Carbonation is going to swim out of it. We'll sit it down. We'll cap up our other ones. Man, look at that. Yes. Yes. That's a big glass of deliciousness. Look, put our cast back on. Keep the rest of this for later. Because if I drink it all at once, I will be totally destroyed. And I will be in a state of total ruination. So, look at that loveliness. Nice, thick, pillowy head. We got, oof, two, three fingers on that. And it's a conglomeration of both. We've got like a medium color now. As you remember from the review, Rune 10 is much darker because it's got a bigger malt bill in it. And the uh, Ruination is lighter color because it's got a little bit smaller malt bill. So let's get a nose on this because this is going to be kind of like a review almost because <sighs> I love beer. Anyways, let's see what we got going on. Wow, big citrus. Man, it's, it's like the best of both worlds coming. The piney and grassiness that's a little more forward in this beer is coming out combined with, man, the citrus bumping out of this at the same time. Man, it's dank, and it's almost, it has a more balanced aroma because this one is, is definitely a little bit more off-kilter, and this one is a little more malty when you compare the two, especially by today's DIPA standards. Man, we've dissipated down a little bit. i got to get a taste of this, guys. Wow, no shit. Who would have thought of that? Well, the guy who owned Stone, I guess. Yes, our OG. Yay, yay. That's right, Greg Cook. OG, original geek. Anyways, that is awesome. That is what you do when you got Ruination and Rune 10 after you've done a side-by-side -side review or you just got two bottles of both around. You can even get a 12-ounce of this and a bomber of this. But I like two bombers. Anyways. Um, that's another story. This is an awesome drink. Give it a try, guys. Super easy to make. 50-50. You can't forget that recipe. And if your friends don't like it, guess what? That's more for you to drink. That's what we'd like around here at DJ's Brew Tube. More to drink. So until the next time, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks a million for watching. Remember to do something important. We gotta think globally. We gotta drink locally. We gotta support the craft beer movement. Help more beers like this come about so we can make awesome beer cocktails like our friend Total Ruination here. Until the next time, that's a big damn. That's a big peace out.